ladies and gentlemen in this video i just want to explain a few things concerning the two most compared african countries in the history of the world so uh it's all love let's take you know the word better best they are all relative terms so one country be better in one aspect while the other one also leads in another what uh, dimension so i just want to take you guys through what is the most common uh, metrics to compare but most people would agree that Ghana and Nigeria, we share sort of uh, a lot of things in common. That said, a lot of people believe that Ghana is way ahead of Nigeria in terms of a lot of uh, metrics to compare. Ghana has what a higher standard of living, and is generally a cleaner and much uh, safer country to live in because uh, we have lower levels of crime lower uh, rates of uh, political unrest uh in, uh in terms of educational facilities i mean ghana of course you know we have a lot of top world-class universities that are actually doing great and even attracting international uh, students including those from nigeria so ghana has its higher standard of living nigeria on the other hand is more economically what viable this is a country with a gdp that's almost seven times uh the, the the gdp of ghana but in terms of entertainment we all agree that uh nigerians are dominating so in the entertainment war for that one we all know that uh nigeria wins that battle when it comes to the entertainment stuff it has to be specific because entertainment as in what uh, the movie industry the music industry these are the two sectors that nigeria is currently doing better than Ghana but when it comes to sports we floor them Ghanaians with a floor with a floor Niger here this time <laughs> them talk say Niger no they carry last but you know be true they, they carry last for sports inside <laughs> you go and check the statistics Ghana Nigeria meeting for over 50, 56 times you, we've beaten them almost two times as much as they've beaten us do you understand Ghana has beaten Nigeria and all competitive football competitions Ghana has beaten Nigeria almost as two times as Ghana and Nigeria <laughs> do you understand so we can talk about entertainment you have to break it into different different areas so entertainment for sports Ghana leads as for the music and then acting or movie industry Nigeria has won that battle hands down so you know you have to always compare what you have to be specific what you are talking about you know economically a lot of things are wrong with Nigeria like power crisis Buhari came to office promising to solve the situation yet the country the massive uh, West African nation is still grappling with a serious massive power outages nationwide you oh when it comes to Ghana we have uh, reliable uh, electricity we don't have uh, frequent frequent uh, power cuts like Nigerians do just recently I was reading the news and a lot of businesses are shutting down people are losing their breadwinners families are just struggling businesses are closing joblessness because you know listen electricity is a very important factor this is a driver of a, an economy especially for those even working out whatever sphere of uh, business or job opportunity you find yourself in it is energy that drives you so when you have uh, businesses being forced to rely on i mean power plants instead of the national grid uh, it becomes very expensive and some of them cannot just cope a lot of nigerians are running to ghana as i'm speaking is uh, people will come here trying to debate with me but i'll i'll, I'll take their words yes no more as they, they describe it but <laughs> i'm a Ghanaian, right but i feel that i'm seeing an influx a mass exodus of nigerians coming to ghana illegal immigrants some of them are not legally <laughs> allowed to stay but they do a lot of things you understand a lot of them are even into prostitution <laughs> <laughs> you come to Koforidja, a lot of Nigerian girls are there just doing anything to survive. I know we also have Niger, I mean Ghanaians based in Niger who are also doing their thing over there. But <laughs> when you just want to compare the standard of living, I mean facilities, Ghana is way ahead of Nigeria in terms of a lot of things. Uh, except, I think what Nigeria is doing so far better is just their entertainment. Uh, let me just put it uh let, let me say the music industry in particular is one sector aside from that insecurity 
Look at Boko Haram. Harassing people. Terrorist attacks. We don't have that in Ghana. Ever since I was born, we've never had a terrorist attack. And I'm very proud of that. I mean, Ghana is the most stable country in West Africa. That is why we have uh, international automakers like Volkswagen and a lot of uh, Nissan. A lot of companies coming to Ghana. Investor confidence is pretty high when it comes to Ghana. But Nigeria, they have a large, vast population. But in terms of foreign investor confidence, foreign direct investment, uh, it's quite slow. It's quite slow, slow over there. But Ghana, I think we have an advantage in that respect, attracting foreign investors into the country. And that is one sector that you have to understand. In terms of our healthcare facilities, are quite. I will. I will say we don't have. Um, it is not the best, but still okay to sustain us for our population size. One thing that Nigeria may be better than Ghana is the road facilities. Roads in Ghana very terrible. Death tar traps everywhere. So, in terms of road infrastructure, you have to. I mean, allow Nigerians to win that battle. You understand? So look at how I'm comparing them. Different, different, different industries. So one country can be better than the other in terms of a specific sector, a specific industry. But people may not understand this and they think maybe we are just hyping Ghana for that. Oh, Ghana is it's a nice country. I mean, the vegetation, we are blessed with a lot of things. I mean, is it the gold, the bauxite, the natural resources, the timber, mineral resources, water, even electricity, how we generate our electricity. I'm very surprised. You see, one thing that is affecting the Nigerian and causing that uh, power crisis is because they don't have a local oil refinery. Ghana we used to have one, the Tema oil refinery. It was working, but now it has been shut down. But despite that, we are still running quite well because of, uh, you know, we being able to diversify our energy sector. Ghana, much of, much of our electricity, uh, I think uh, it comes from hydro. So the hydro hydroelectricity then we have our thermal plants to support that uh -huh. solar is also being slowly being incorporated into the system so we've, we've diversified our energy sector so it's not like oh once this particular substation shuts down then it's a nationwide power outage we don't have it like that uh, i think uh, doom so one time we had doom so which was like the frequent power cuts but it has been stabilized over the past uh six years we've not had uh serious cases of that oh since uh i, I don't remember the last time the, the lights went out in ghana for more than two hours since i came here like oh it comes very quick quick like very quick yeah do you understand so <laughs> that's one thing i'm very thankful for because <laughs> power is everything especially those of us working online i mean always having to use your uh, digital devices smartphone computers and those things like we need a lot of power to run those things you understand we need power constant power supply to do this blogging and stuff so imagine being a blogger in nigeria and you have to be charging your smartphone charging your laptop <laughs> on i mean generators how, how are you going to survive that system so uh it's a, it's a fun time i mean ghana it's a beautiful country one thing about nigeria that i don't i just don't like is their cr high crime rate very violent country Oh, Ghana used to be a, a, I mean, a cool, I mean, peace-loving nation until Nigeria started coming here. Uh, let me say, let me just be uh, specific. It's not all Nigeria. We have the bad boys, Sakawa boys. I mean, 419 people, Sakawa scammers. I mean, the Yahoo boys coming here to cause commotion. If I, if you were to debate this. Uh, hash puppy, we, we all know hash puppy, right? Hash puppy is what a Nigerian. So when it comes to like those sector IT, the Nigerians are using their IT to cheat, do a lot of scamming a lot. And it is Nigeria that is actually tarnishing the image of Africa in terms of internet fraud and those cyber security threats and things. Because they have the history in that. And now PayPal doesn't even support Ghana. And they rather <laughs> They rather allow Nigerians to create PayPal accounts, but they, they yeah, you see, having a Nigerian account is not, uh, you can only use it to sort of, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> send money. You can only use a Nigerian PayPal account to receive money. That's one thing I don't understand. You can receive it. <laughs> you can only use it to send money abroad. <laughs>
That's because of the security rescue. Do you understand? Uh -huh. So <laughs> I've covered a lot of areas, you know. Uh, 